next is the prince step death it is a v3 45 year old hypertensive male presented to any with 24 hour history of severe headache in gcs was 15 on arrival but patient suddenly deteriorated to a gcs score of 3 he was intubated ventilated and transferred to the intensive care unit the ct scan shows a lot subarachnoid hemorrhage with pronounced midline shift, he is unresponsive to any stimuli. There is suspicion that he might be brainstem dead. At what point can testing for brainstem death be performed? Before brainstem mm. testing is done, the following preconditions must be met. Mm. The patient must be in apneic coma. Mm. The irreversible there should be irreversible structural brain damage. Mm due to a disorder that can possibly result in brainstem death. All possibility of potential drug intoxication, recreation and therapeutic, temperature aberration, pagalopthermia and possible mm -hmm. metabolic disorders must be excluded. Mm -hmm. Exclude the other causes like guillain beer syndrome and pontine infarction. The timing of the testing must be considered when preceding mm -hmm. conditions can be fulfilled. In apneic coma patients, mm, following radiologically confirmed intercellular hemorrhage, subduction hemorrhage, or pigeonhole surgery, brainstem testing can be performed after six hours of ventilation. In case of hypoxic brain injury, there should be minimum of twenty-four hours of ventilation mm -hmm. prior to consideration of undertaking brainstem death testing. Mm -hmm. The preconditions have been met, and the decision is made to proceed with brainstem death testing. What tests are used to confirm the absence of brainstem reflexes? How are they performed? Which cranial nerve do they test? So number one is conduct apneic testing. So pre oxygenate for 10 minutes, measure the partial pressure of carbon dioxide more than 5.3 and disconnect ventilator until PACO2 more than 6.65 and monitor for absence of any signs of respiratory effect. Number two, cranial nerve testing no pupillary reflex and direct mm -hmm. with the light so efferent is optic nerve 2 efferent mm -hmm. is pupillometer 3 number 2 no corneal mm -hmm. reflex efferent is trigeminal efferent is facial mm -hmm. number 3 no vestibule ocular reflex mm -hmm. efferent is 8 and efferent is 6 abducent No response to the painful stimulus on supraorbital large efferent is trigeminal, efferent is facial. No gag or cough reflex, efferent is glossopharyngeal 9 and efferent is 10. No oculus follicle no reflex here, efferent is 8 and efferent is 6. All tests must be repeated at least twice after an elapsed time. The time of death is regarded as the time that the first round of testing occurs. A one month old child with meningitis has not responded despite treatment for an intracranial hemorrhage for over a week. He is being considered a potential donor. Can BSD testing be performed in this scenario? Before 2015, brainstem death could not be declined in children under two months of age. Now, despite this change, new change in the guidance due to the sensitive nature of the situation and lack of experience in the brainstem death testing in this age group, most pediatric units are reluctant to perform brainstem death testing in infants younger than two months of age. Thank you.